Hi guys, welcome to another PS Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to start looking at layers uh, and layer styles because it's one of the most important things that you need to understand when you're learning Photoshop. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to open up an image which is uh, part of the premium tutorial uh, pack for offline marketers. And I'm going to show you basically how I work and the best way of creating art space. So I've created a little potential flyer that I can send off to a prospect interested in having a mobile website done, for example. And I just want to send them a quick showcase of what their website would potentially look like just to get their interest. So it's a little bit of a marketing flyer with just a bit of personalization, which is a real powerful way of closing offline clients to eventually make a, a booking and become one of your customers. So I've created this Photoshop document and I've used layers as a way of manipulating the document. So everything I've created from the logo to the mock-up to the hand to the potential buttons, they're all on different layers. So by doing this, it gives me the advantage then. So if I'm not happy with the design, I can actually just click and hold and I can basically reposition any part of the actual design to start making kind of variations and you, you can get something called pixel pushing uh, syndrome where you end up doing this for hours so it's always a good idea to have a kind of rough idea of the kind of designs that you want to make but inevitably you're going to want to do things such as align text uh, and get everything looking nice and clean. So you do this by creating a, a layer for each basic part or element of the actual space that you want to design. Now, if I, we have a head on over here, you can see here are all my layers and it's always good uh, practice just to have, so we've got the logo, which is the logo layer, we've got the hand, so if I click the hand layer, I can move the hand around. Then we've got some text here, which is going over the actual tablet and we've got some more text and buttons, um, some more information about the site and obviously a nice kind of tablet image. So just like you'd imagine if you had a piece of paper and each element was on a piece of acetate, depending on what level or where the layer is situated will basically be above or below the acetate. So for example, here's the hand and it's currently above the tablet layer. And if I just drag that and drop that below the tablet layer, you can see that it goes behind. Now the tablet's actually got a lower opacity, which is another feature that you can do with layers. So you can make it kind of easier or more clear or less kind of solid. So you can get different effects, but you can see that the hand is now dropped below the tablet. So if I bring it up, I can then put it back on. So what the opacity does, which we spoke about a minute ago, which is another great thing to do with layers, is that we can make it more of a kind of opaque way. So it lowers uh, the amount that you can see uh, the actual image. Now I'm just going to move this back up to the original uh, level. So you can see, you can imagine now if I want to do, for example, put the PS Pro logo over the tablet and I just want to lower the opacity just a little bit you can have some of the tablet showing through and it gives it that little kind of watermark effect. So layers are incredibly handy when you're actually doing anything in Photoshop. I think the best way of getting your head around layers is just create an image, put a little logo on it for your brand or for whatever reason it is that you're learning. Photoshop could be a little message for like a wedding invite, whatever. And then just start playing around with basically just getting uh, different variations of it and seeing what kind of effects that you can come up with uh, by playing around with things like the op opacity. Now, another really handy factor about layers is at the moment I've got the view, the demo text here, so perhaps it's a, a web uh, image and I want people to either click view the demo so they can see it live on the mobile phone if, if you do a, a mobile simulator on your website or click the order button. So if we head on up over here and choose auto select, uh, we can then click the text. Now, if I move that text, obviously it's gonna take it away from the actual button. So if I click the button background itself and the view demo and head on up here and just centralize it all so it's a lot more accurate, I can press Apple G, which creates a group or I can literally just click down here 
and put create a new group and it puts it on a separate or a uh, a set of layers which are kind of locked so wherever I move the actual one part of the group it will dra drag everything that's actually been uh, selected as part of the group so I can do the same again for the order button group those and I just need to click anywhere and you can see it will select everything within or all the layers within that group and I can keep going and then just making sure that everything is if I just align everything now to the left group all of that you can see now my layers are starting to get a little bit more simpler and wherever I move this around it's just going to keep everything together so once I've aligned everything and I'm happy with the kind of thing that I've got it's going to be a far more accurate way and quicker way of actually uh, moving things around now. That's because I've got auto select group uh, activated. I can then go back in, keep everything as a group. But if I'm not happy with something, like I want to potentially bring this down, I can just go straight in and select the layer, which is going to basically mean that I'm not going to move the group, I'm just going to move the layer, but everything is still grouped. So, real handy kind of features uh, of how to get your head around layers. So, there's a very quick introduction into layers and layer styles and how they can work for you. Best thing to do, play around, see what kind of things that you come up with, and I'll see you in another tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak soon.